Hello, I'm Bren and this is a quick tutorial how to compile an avatar for Lift. Um, you start with importing avatar to Blender and exporting it to FBX. Here you should make sure that your avatar is uh, at 0, 0, 0, with the center at its feet and that you have all the Vizemes named properly. Um, and then you can export, uh, including the materials and textures, but you can import those individually into Unity later. <coughs> you will need uh, the Lift template avatars Unity project, which you can download from this address. After you download it, you have to unzip it. You can put it anywhere, but just make sure you put it somewhere where you can find it. <coughs> so in my case, it's lifted one. Well, next. I suppose you already have Unity installed. Uh, if you don't, you will have to download, uh, or you will have to create an account and then download the Unity that um, will launch the project. Um, if you're using um, the alt VR chat Unity, uh, then you can use it, as you can see. That's the one I'm using. So you don't need to download the uh, Unity in which the project was created. However, if you try to use a newer version of Unity, uh, 2019 and newer, you'll run into compatibility issues. So when you have the project open, you can create a new folder where everything you'll need for your avatar will be and import it. So in my case, I will just import the FPX that contains the material and at last uh, textures. In your case, it may be way more things to import. Um, the first thing you need to do is to change the rig to humanoid and apply it. Um, it should generate just fine, but it does not need to. It depends on how the skeleton is created or how the bones are named. Sometimes Unity won't uh, make it right. You can assign them here, but as you can see, it seems that it's correct for my avatar. And here is one bow that's not bone that's not supposed to be there, so you just take it out. <coughs> and then you wait again. Well next if you have materials and textures in the FBX uh, you can extract them. So that's what I will do. I will create a new folder named materials. If you don't have these in the FBX file, you can import them. Um, many people will be importing uh, Unity packages, so you will just check what you need and import it. Um, that would probably mean the FBX itself, uh, the textures, materials, um, shaders. Um, since the shader I use is not included in the FBX, I will import it into Unity. Oops, okay. I just wanted to drag the avatar into view so I can actually see how it looks like. Now you can see that it doesn't look 
quite right. Um, so I will import um, shader that I use when I'm too lazy. <coughs> Uh, Lift supports all kind of uh, custom shaders and Poyomi works uh, so if you use that you can use it however there are some Beat Saber sh shaders that do not work they might actually work if you uh, get rid of the alpha channels <coughs> Well, your avatar will, um, I mean, if you use your avatar in BeatSaber or VRChat, um, it will look differently in Live. So just play with the settings and export two times until you're uh, satisfied with the result. It's mostly the emission that works differently. In general, you want values that are lower. Well, you can also set up dynamic bones. Um, so, uh, note that um, if you load to project that uh, or package that already has dynamic bones in it, you have to delete that or not import it at all, um, because if it will be in the project. Uh, you won't be able to export your avatar. So you will need to get rid of all the dynamic bone scripts uh, from the official dynamic bones uh, script and add the ones, uh, add the one that is in the customer uh, custom avatars DLL. So I just. Um, Put some dynamic bone scripts here to show you that well you can just put it on an object or you can use the exclusion because in this case it's faster than adding it to every single strand of hair you can see that it moves you can change the values in play mode find settings that um, that look good in my case, I will just play with the values without using the distribution curves or anything. So you'll most probably spend more time with that. If your avatar uses fist bounds instead, you can you can convert them to uh, dynamic bounds. It's linked in my tutorial. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't know. It's just if you just search for fist bones to dynamic bones uh, conversion, you'll find it. You can also set up colliders, but it's up to you. The last step is just create an uh, empty game object and drag to your um, avatar into it, uh, both the game object and your avatar have to be at 0, 0, 0 position, it should be, which I haven't done, but which uh, won't uh, affect the avatar itself. Uh, it will affect the fact that when you show up in game, then it won't be at the place you would expect. Like it will be shifted uh, in a certain direction or under the floor and stuff. So after you export your avatar, you can import it into Live. Uh, you can either copy it to the 
uh, folder that is in the, your documents folder there's lib folder in which there's uh, avatars you copy the file there or you can just drag it into the lib window like I did and then if you go to to the output you should um, uh, see the avatar in my case because I already have it uh, picked uh, otherwise you'll have to put on your headset open the live menu find your avatar and click on it and then you'll be able to use it and as you can see my avatar moves so that's it thanks for watching